You said last year through your first through your first pregnancy that it was hard to plan your style because your style was constantly evolving. You've nailed it this time. Is that something oh, you're more conscious yeah. of? I mean, I know this outfit doesn't look like I'm trying to go for simple, but I'm just doing what feels right. At this stage, I'm just trying to fit into the things that still fit me. Um, but I think I'm just, you know, I, I do think that tighter works a little bit better. It's a little more slimming, and I don't care how hot it is. I'm going to wear it like thin coats all summer, like light, thin, airy coats to kind of conceal my, my big arms. <laughs> Definitely not bigger. I'm going to have, yeah, a strategy of just really simple this time. Well, you seem a bit more daring this time as well. Is that something you're consciously doing? Not really. It's like when I wore this latex dress, I just knew it fit me, and I probably had a couple weeks left before I couldn't wear it for a good year, and I had never worn it, so I wanted to get use out of it. This, you know, lace dress, this designer, Laquan Smith, made it for me a little while ago and I couldn't believe it still fit me so I was like it's now or never and I, I sent a picture to all my sisters and my mom and I said you guys this is too much for tonight and Kylie was like go for it but the, the dress that Kylie has on that white um, Francesco two piece he made for me but it doesn't fit me and I can't really wear you know that much of a crop top so I was like why don't you wear that and look amazing in it because it'll be a good year year and a half until I can fit into it again pregnant with your second baby congratulations Thank what you. good news does this feel much different second time around it's definitely a different pregnancy um, I really wanted to be pregnant and um, so it's this anticipation of trying and you know I feel like this is really a miracle because I didn't think it would happen for me after you know I had a, a t tough delivery that created some complications um, so I'm just really grateful to be pregnant and we're so happy that so far everything's really healthy and great and just so excited. And you mentioned that you were suffering morning sickness, is that on its way yes. out now? I, I thought it was. It, it left for a good like week or two and then it just came back this trip. So I was saying I don't know when it's going to go away but I'll manage. I'm trying to figure out what the best solution for that is. And how is Kanye spoiling you rotten? He must Me? Be. I mean, he always does. He's the best. He's just been, you know, so he, he's the sweetest. And is North excited to be a big sister? I don't know if she really understands it yet. Um, I We read books at night about stories of, you know, big sisters and baby brothers and families. So I don't, I don't know if she gets it quite yet. How will you introduce the new baby to her? I'm sure she'll come to the hospital and meet him. Yeah, I haven't really thought about it too much, but I, I'm, I'm sure she will. That's what Courtney did with her kids, so I'll kind of take advice from her. Any, um, could you give us any insight into baby names yet? You know what, I haven't thought of any baby names. And I waited a long time last time, so I feel like I'm okay. I, there's no pressure. We've gotten, you know, a few books, but nothing in the book. It's just too complicated to go through them all, so... We like to ask our friends for advice, but so far that hasn't come up yet. It's not South, I will say that. Everyone's thinking it's South, and that's like really dumb to me. Um, have you had any weird cravings during this pregnancy? Absolutely none, but just the nausea has, I can't eat certain things. There's certain things I don't wanna see 